All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, and double honors unto the apostles. And now that's a great millstone. And peace and blessings to all you out there, Maudel, who pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, real briefly, I want to go into uh, uh, another lesson. And I just kind of want to, you know, follow up on what the apostle to hold the energy that he been pushing out. You know, uh, concerning a prophecy, which is the last, not saying it's the last, like as far as the only major prophecy left, but it's the, the most important major prophecy that we have left to be fulfilled in this Bible. Now, of course, you know, we got the coming of our Lord. What can be bigger than that? But as I want to, you know, touch on the spirit of like the Apostle Tahal, as he's been saying, look, speak this prophecy into existence, man. You know, put this energy out there into the earth because we definitely in that time. But again, for example, Yahweh Shai, that got to be the biggest prophecy that we really waiting on. But the thing is, is I want to touch on on this lesson before that can even come. Guess what got to happen first? That mark of the beast, that MOTB, must be mandated, man. Can't get around it. And what I was thinking about, you know, when I was trying to, try, you know, just meditating on the lesson, the uh, the wordplay came to me on uh, how Apostle Paul in Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. And I'm, Lord willing, I get that here in a few, but how he explained that the day of Yahweh Shai couldn't come except two things, you know, back in their time, you know, a little over 2,000 some years ago, he said that the, the day of Yahweh Shai couldn't come except two things happen first. And we're going to read it. But the thing is, those two things happen. Scratch them off the list. But in our time, that day shall not come except what now i would say two things the market of you know the motb and world war three but the thing is <laughs> is that world war three that's going on right now and what's ultimately the, the climax of that missiles being shot off the thing is once missiles shot off that's gonna be the same day you have shot but the point is in order for that day to come what gotta happen first the mark of the beast, the MOTB, must be mandated. All nations on earth will push out a digital currency, which is going to lead to the um, the uh, offering of a digital uh, micro C hub that's going to be put in people, man, in order to allow them to buy and sell, to have a digital ID, right, to put your healthcare information on there, uh, so on and so forth. And that's all we waiting on, man. And we definitely see we in that time, as it's saying, Habakkuk, the second chapter, at the end of the show, speaking, not lie. And how is it speaking? Let me get these precepts. But how is it speaking? Because we have tangible proof now to back up what the Bible is saying. Right? It's all on mainstream media. People are already buying and selling with it. But let's get these precepts. Let's start with this. Second Thessalonians 2. We're going to start at the top. Right? But this... That day that we looking for, America to be destroyed, us get new bodies, senior how we're shy, none of that can come until this MOTB be brought to the forefront. Let's get this real quick. Second Thessalonians chapter two, and we're gonna start at one, right? Because we're gonna see what day Apostle Paul is talking about. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse one. It says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And by our gathering together unto him. So subject matter is the coming of Yahweh Shai and us getting saved. It says that, that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter from us. Check it out. As that day of Mashiach is at hand. So Paul saying, look, stay rooted and grounded. Don't be shaken. Don't be confused. Don't get weak. Because the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. And this is what he's going to say next. Let no man deceive you by any means. 
for that day shall not come. What day? The coming of Yahweh Shai. But he gonna say, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. So that's why Apostle Paul said, let no man deceive you. Because they knew it. They knew, now, nah, granted they ain't know the, you know, the full details of everything, but they knew the order of the prophecies that had to be fulfilled. Paul, Apostle Paul knew Yahweh Shai couldn't come back except what Esau be revealed and we fell away again, you know, uh, from our heritage. The thing is, those two things happen. So in our time here in 2024 AD, what are we waiting on now? You see, I just wanted to get that 2 Thessalonians 2 to set the tone of the lesson. What's stopping us today from that day happening? Because what Apostle Paul said that happened, we fell away as a nation, now we back. And now Esau have been being exposed. Well, now that day of Yahweh Shai cannot come except the MOTB be brought to the, center, to, the, to the center stage and mandated. And that's where we at right now in prophecy. So seeing the Apostle, uh, Apostle Hall pushing out the energy, tell you, look, we don't, we don't have much left, man. We write that at the door and look, the Lord uh, is, is making the MOTB hot right now, even within these camps. Put it on, uh, you know, Bishop or uh, Deacon Yawasop spirit in IUIC to bring it up. And I'm sure, you know, other things going to happen, right? All these nations, you got 157 countries separating themselves from the dollar and going to the digital platform that brick starting. So we ain't, we ain't waiting on much, man. And, and another thing, as the Apostle Hall say, that's the energy I want to push in this lesson. Keep pushing out the information of the MOTB. Keep, keep doing videos on it. Because the more we keep doing videos, as it said in Isaiah 55 and 11, Lord willing, I get that here in a few too. Or as well, but as it said in Isaiah 55 and 11, that the Lord word ain't going to go out void. Just as the rain and water come from the sky and water the earth. He said, this is his word. So if we all speak in his word, guess what? It got to come to pass. It's not going to go out void. It's going to bring forth and produce in the earth, just as water do with plants and vegetation, so on and so forth. Right? So just like Apostle Paul said, let no man deceive you. Right? And we know, we know what got to happen. You see, in order for the end, come, end to come, let's get this real quick in 2 Ezra 4. I was thinking of this too. Because the Lord ain't going to put one prophecy before another. The next thing we waiting on, before missiles could be shot off, before we can get new bodies, before we can have slaves, before any of that, the MOTB got to be brought to the light. That got to come to pass first. And the Lord ain't going to skip over it, man. You see, so all these camps going to have a time when they going to get put on the spot. But let's get this real quick. The second measure, chapter 4. And verse 37, it says, by measure have he measured the times. Talking about the most high. It says, by measure have he measured the times, and by number have he numbered the times. And he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. We're going to read that again, but what is that saying? Let me see what another translation says. But what is that saying? It said the Lord, he thought about the end in the beginning. Everything was already set. The times, how long the time is going to be. You see, the ages they going to come. What prophecy is going to be fulfilled. And, he, and it said, what it said again? By measure have he measured the time and by number have he numbered the times. And he doeth not move nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So the Lord don't put one prophecy over another. Yahweh Shai can't come back without the MOTB being brought to the center stage, man. You see? This go, and look, this could be another mechanism to identify who the false prophets are. When this get... Uh, more closer to the time of it being mandated and forced on the people. And again, it ain't gonna have to be forced as just somebody putting a gun to your head and say, put this in your body. No, hard times go come to where you're gonna have to rely on the government or rely on the Lord. 
And if you rely on a the government, they're going to help you. But what you're going to have to get in you in order to get that help, this MOTB. You see? So these are the times that we are in, man. This is the main thing that we waiting on to happen. Yeah, to come under Yahawashah, of course. Every All the other prophecies, of course. But what's the main one that's going to kickstart all the other prophecies? The mark of the beast, man. Like the Apostle Taha always said, once this thing come to pass, the time going to speed up tremendously. Hey, Yahawashah did say the law going to shorten the time. Who knows? If that's going to be after the MOTB mandated. <laughs> right? But let's read this again. It said, he do it not smooth nor stir them until the said measure be fulfilled. So nothing else going to happen until this MOTB come to pass. In other words. Let me see. I'm trying to see what it's saying in another translation. I'm just curious. Okay, kind of, it said the same thing pretty much, right? Until the said measure be fulfilled. The other translations say, and he measured the time, and he measured the times by measure, and numbered the times by number, and he would not move or arouse them until that measure is fulfilled. So we can't go to the next step, the, the you know the next phase of prophecy until this main one be taken care of, man, and scratched off the checklist. So, again, it's beautiful because, let's get some more precepts and I'll wind it down. But it's beautiful because you have camps who are trying to avoid it. They don't want to talk about it. You see? And then when they do talk about it, why they never speak on the buying and selling aspect of it? They'll tell you it's sin and, and sin in all its forms and, and your, 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 your head because you're thinking it and your right hand because you're action. But how am I buying and selling with these things, though? See, they never really go into it, and they really try to avoid it. And you know what? A lot of camps truly, it irked their spirit by the diligence um, um, that's being brought out by the apostles and elders, bishops, and brothers of Great Millstone concerning this very prophecy. Because the diligence of, of apostles, apostles and brothers, day in and day out, bringing up information and, and, and proof that the MOTB is the RFID micro C of showing videos and articles. Guess what? Now information out that forced them to talk about it. Because either one, they got to try to back up their claims that it's an embargo or a sin. Or two, they are a congregation listening to these videos and seeing the edification, seeing the proof and got questions. And now they got to try to debunk it, but it don't make sense. But it's beautiful because whether they try to avoid it or not, the Lord is bringing these things to the forefront. They're going to have to talk about it. You see? They're going to have to talk about it. Let's get some more precepts. Um, shoot, let's just get it. Let's just let's get Revelation 13. Let's get that then. We just flowing. Again, Apostle Hall said, put the energy out there. So let's read it. This Revelation 13. And then I get it like, you know, scripture two after this. This is so, look, sh just just to show and to lock it. I'm talking fast. I'm at the job. I'm, I'm super short on time, but I want to get this in. But after this, I'm going to get some precepts just to show if we speak in these things, guess what? The Lord going to make it happen in the earth. If we speak in these things as prophets, he going to make it happen in the earth. We ain't just going to be talking about it forever. You see? So, like the apostle said, don't let up. Don't let up, man. Uh, let's see. This is um, Revelation 13. We will get straight to the point. In verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Talking about the so-called white man. Right? By way of his system. You know, because the, the original beast <laughs> is Rome. And Esau Edom, by way of America, NATO and the EU, he had brought back that ancient Roman Empire. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It says, and he calls of all. So in other words, if you don't get down with, with his new world order that he got coming, you're going to get exed out of society. And it says, and, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark 
in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark and you go into that that's karagma some that's inserted man even when you go into the root words you go into palisade and you know karaks which is the tool to inject it in you and it's clear as day <laughs> it's clear as day man but you know when you have people paid off not to speak of these things it's like what else they gonna do you know, when you got men on the 501c3 orders, what else can they say? Right? It says, or the name of the beast or the number of his name. But that's, that's the main prophecy right there. That's the precepts of the main prophecy that, that we waiting on in these last times. Yeah, I got other prophecies. You know, everything that's going to come in Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble. You know, Leviathan, he's still going to pop out and show niggas. Right? You got a lot of stuff that's going to take place, but none of that's going to happen without what? The main one. The mark of the B, which is the RFID micro C here, man. You see what beautiful times we're living in. But let's get this real quick. Isaiah 55, since I mentioned that. Is Isaiah 55. Yeah, when that time when Yahweh Shah said in Revelation 3 and 10, this that that our temptation that's gonna come upon all the world. You see, it's coming on all the world. In other words, it's telling you there's no escape. Nobody gonna be able to escape. And again, when we talk about the the MOTB, it being mandated, it could come in many ways and forms. And that's the the, the purpose of being a watchman, paying attention, because we need to see what's going on and how they taking the steps towards this prophecy being fulfilled. That's the excitement of watching. Because he could do it through this uh, new sickness that's coming. And instead of a, a CV, you see, he may shut the system down right along with the system and they come on. And instead of IDs and shit, you know, he may tell you, look, get the digital grain of rice. He might start with a, who knows, man? Who knows? Right? Cut the system off, cut it on, now it's all digital, and eventually down the line, most shit gonna happen and put fear into these people. Now the people gonna be willing to give up their bodies and put something in it for protection, just like what happened in Egypt in the scriptures. You see? Just like what happened in uh, for nine, uh, you know, 911, you know, with the Patriot Act, people gave up freedoms for protection, for comfort. You know, but whatever it is in Jacob's trouble, whether you ain't got food, you ain't got nowhere to go. You need help. You need water. You can go get it. If, if you don't trust in the Lord, you can go get it. The government will have it, but you got to get this MOTB. See, that's when everybody going to be tempted. So it ain't just got to be you put, getting a gun put to your head. No. When you tempted on whether you're going to survive or not and how you're going to survive, that's when you're going to be tried. Or you're going to just wait and trust in the Lord. And that's why it's beautiful right now. The Lord is preparing us to go without. You see? And to consider these things, man. So we won't be shocked or caught off guard when it happened. But let's, let's wind it down. Let's get this in Isaiah 55 real quick. Just to back up what the Apostle Toho said. Push this energy out. Because if the Lord got us speaking this, especially as a body, multiple times a day, multiple brothers with the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai tied to it, these things definitely going to, not saying speed up, because we can't speed nothing up. It's already set. As we got earlier, but it's definitely gonna put that vibration in the earth. And these last two precepts I'm gonna get, the Lord said, if we speak in it, it's gonna happen. Isaiah 55 and verse 10, it says, For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and return not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it to bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the soil and bread to the eater. So the Lord given a similar to, he said, you know how you, you got rain come down or snow, which snow is frozen water. So nevertheless, how you got water come down from the sky and then it, what it do? It don't bounce back up like a boomerang. No, it, it go down in the, in the ground, in the soil, right? Give, you know, moisture and nutrients to the, to the plants and it bring forth uh, uh, vegetation and, and produce and plant life. So when that water come down, it do what it's supposed to do and bring forth the produce in the earth. So the Lord brought that up because he says, next verse, well, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Now the Lord ain't speaking who he got today, today speaking for him, the prophets. So just as that rain come down, which is truth is likened unto water, 
He says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. So if the Lord got us out here constantly talking about the MOTB, guess what? That's not going out void. It's bringing forth something in the earth whether we see it or don't see it. Whether it's we, you know, see it as far as a, uh, you know, a step being made and they tell you, you know, uh, the government just signed, you know, see hips in the people in case of emergency, you know, whether we see it or whether we don't see it, there's people out there who believe in on it. You know, you got people in these camps, they're like, man, I seen a video, it makes sense, I believe what Greg Millstone saying. Or whether we don't see it, things with the elites, they passing shit behind the scenes. The point is, what we saying is making things happen, whether we know it or not. You see? Whether we know it or not. Let's get this real quick in Ezekiel 12, and I'm going to end it. So keep pushing that, that vibration out there, man. The Lord ain't just going to just go have his prophets out here saying it, and it never come to pass. Let's get this real quick, and I got to go. It's Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 21. It says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying that days are prolonged, and every vision felleth? So the Lord asked Ezekiel, what is, what is this I hear? I hear them niggas out there, down there talking about, right? These, these Israelites. What is this I hear them talking about that they saying the prophecies ain't going to come to pass? Just like today. What they said, uh, Jacob's trouble gay. Bishop Nate said it ain't going to be no Jacob's trouble. They said the MOTB ain't the sea hip, right? Uh, one body said Yahweh Shai ain't do miracles. You see? Uh, uh, uh. So on and so forth. America ain't Babylon and great. So the Lord saying what they said, that my prophecies ain't going to come to pass. Well, check the response out from the Lord. It says, tell them, therefore, thus said Yahweh power. I will make this proverb to cease. And they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision the lord said well tell them all these prophecies that they don't think go come to pass and they time tell them it's gonna come to pass he said the days are at hand and the effect of every vision what's effect the results of something you see so now we are about to see the results of the prophets prophesying in other words the prophecy is about to come to pass <laughs> we about to we about to see the results of the prophets prophesying, which is these things actually happening in the earth. Nobody ain't gonna be talking and doing videos forever, man. Uploading, you see, forever. Eventually, we gonna go to the next phase, and that's all we waiting on. And as prophets, what we doing? Speaking it into existence. And the Lord said, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. For there shall be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. So the time that we're coming in, the Lord is saying the results of these things are about to be shown what it really is. So at this time, he said, it's going to be no more any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. Meaning what? We're in a time where you ain't going to have these teachers saying what they want to say. Right? It's sin. It's an embargo. It's 666 white women. Why they ain't going to be able to say anything? Because it's going to be in their face. You see? Because it's going to be cl clearly in their face. What it is, man. It's, soon it's going to be clear that the mark of, of the beast is the RFID micro c hub. And at this point in time, no teacher going to be able to say it's not. And I can't wait till this time come, man. You see? For the Lord to prove his word. It says, for I am Yahweh, and I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, when I will, will I say the word, and will perform it, save Yahweh power. And you know how I know it's these days we in? Because it was never said before. Because the Lord just said, I'm going to say the word, and it's going to happen in your days. And I'm going to end it after this. The, the thing is, yeah, you have prophets of old talk about war before, famine before, earthquakes before. But never have the, a prophet of old spoke about all those things along with World War III, along with Esau falling, and along with the coming of our Lord, neither along with the mark of the beast, that prophecy. 
until now everything being put together why because everything about to happen right after the main one which is the prophecy of the MOTB you see see how close it is you know how they say a domino effect right the domino the first domino to fall is the MOTB and then it's gonna just fucking fall quick after that man that's all we waiting on you see that's all we waiting on. It says, and again, a word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. But say unto them, There said Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done. Say of Yahweh, power, man. So we about to see some interesting things happen, you know, as we see the last few major prophecies be fulfilled, and the main one being the MOTB. But I'm going to leave it right there, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakhakwadash, and with that, Shalom.